Welcome back, everybody, to another cryptocurrency news article. This one comes out of Cointelegraph, and I really hope it didn't happen to any of you guys. But the Atomic Wallet was hacked sometime yesterday around 12 a.m., 1 a.m., and when people woke up, checked their wallets, all their funds were gone. So, yeah, if this has happened to you, uh, definitely you will need to, uh, let's see, uh, call your local police, file a report, contact the FBI. You'll need the police report information and tracking the cryptos that were taken from your wallet. So any exchange in possession of the cryptos can be forced to freeze those cryptos. You will need the police report number for that. It would be best to hire a professional to track the assets. And if you have not been hit, but you have Atomic Wallet, I would advise that you move those cryptos to an Excess Wallet or something comparable. If you're wondering when Excess have the same problem, the answer is no, they do not share the same base code as them. So yes, uh, but yeah, like there was a like, security breach, it was like in the code, it was like a bug exploit and like, this was kind of warring the last year in February of the security vulnerabilities with the Atomic Wallet. As a result, uh, we strongly recommend that Atomic Wallet team immediately notifies users of the existing security vulnerabilities. In addition, until the issue and suggestion outlined in the report has been sufficiently remediated and the Atomic Wallet has undergone subsequent security audits, we strongly recommend against the Atomic Wallet's deployment and use. So yes, yeah, so that was a, from a security audit from Lisa SRC. And uh, yeah, so I really hope none of this happens to you guys. And uh, if it did, my sincere apologies. But yeah, here's this article from Cointelegraph <coughs> about the Atomic Wallet hack and losing the top $35 million on the on-chain slew report. So yeah, security teams are investigating the cause of the attack. Reports have surfaced of tokens being lost, transactions and data being erased, and even entire crypto portfolios destroyed. And yeah, at least $35 million worth of crypto assets have been stolen from Atomic Wallet users since June 2nd, according to analysis from OnChain Sleuth by Zach XBT. The five largest losses on the accounts are for $17 million. Now, according to Atomic Wallet on Twitter, the cause of the attack is still being investigated. Reports have surfaced of tokens being lost, transactions, histories being erased, and even entire crypto portfolios being stolen. So yeah, if you're not seeing your transactions uh, being reported on, like uh, on the Atomic Wallet itself, so you can't get a hash, take your public address on there, go to whatever blockchain explorer, like either Etherscan, BTC Explorer, put in your public address, and that way you can see on chain all the transactions going on. So that's where you get the hashtag. But an independent investigation carried out by pseudonymous Twitter, Zach XBT, known for tracing crypto stolen funds and assisting hacked projects has found the largest victim lost $7.95 million in Tether and think it could surpass 50 million. Keep finding more and more victims, sadly, commented by Zach XBT. And yeah, update from the Twitter from Zach XBT, a new largest victim, just pointing out that my graph has now surpassed 35 million in total stolen. Now, the Atomic Wallet claims to have over 5 million users around the world. Cointelegraph spoke with a longtime Atomics client who is now a victim of security breach. I felt terrible because I'm a cybersecurity expert by profession, said Emmer, a Turkish resident who lost nearly $1 million in crypto assets and received from a buggy bounty program. His stolen tokens included Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, USDT, USD coins, so USDC, Binance coin, and Polygon. So it just wasn't one specific coin. A lot of coins were wiped out. Some that probably weren't touched were uh, usually when you're staking on an Atomic Wallet. Uh, there's like a 28-day locking period. So those coins are still in there, but try to get them out of there and off their wallet as soon as you can. But they say they're looking into it, but they don't have anything concrete yet. Emmer continued that the funds held on Atomic Wallet were destined for the establishment of a cybersecurity firm in Turkey. Atomic is a non-custodial decentralized wallet, meaning users are responsible for assets stored in the application. And as usual in its terms, services do not accept my liability for on-chain damages suffered by users. So under no circumstance will Atomic Wallet be liable to you, to you for damages arising out of the services exceeding $50, says one expert. So, oh, oh my goodness. So we'll see if they're redeeming themselves. If anything, I'm thinking Atomic Wallet's kind of done for now at this point. I think nobody's going to be wanting to store their cryptos on there because they're losing their credibility with that and they're saying they're not liable. And then again, it's not the people's fault. They claim to be a decentralized wallet where people, yeah, never share their password, kept their seed phrase protected, but this was their 
own bug in the system that caused it. But this was a tweet that people reported on yesterday. We have received reports of wallets being compromised. We are doing all we can to investigate and analyze the situation. As we have more information, we will uh, share it accordingly. For any questions and concerns, contact support at atomicwallet.io. Now, the update this morning was the investigation is still ongoing in a joint effort with the leading security companies. The team is working on possible attack vectors. Nothing yet confirmed. The support team is collecting victim addresses, reached out to major exchanges and blockchain knowledge companies. Mm -hmm. But yeah, also report that outside of the police and the FBI and all that stuff. Also report your hashtags to the uh, contact.support at atomicwallets.io if this happens to you guys. Now, there has been little information provided by the Atomic Wallet to users so far. The support team is collecting victim addresses. They've reached out to major exchanges and blockchain analytics companies to trace and block the stolen funds. Atomic's team said in a tweet from June 4th, its second official communication, that these those contacting Atomic have been asked to answer over 20 questions about internet providers, use of virtual private networks, and storage of seed phrases. Now, in Telegram's community channels, some pointed out the exploit could have organized via an outdated dependency package. Dependency packages describe the relationship between activities to be performed within a program, including the order in which they should be performed and the libraries needed to perform those activities. So that was part of like this little thing right here people were pointing out. But yeah, the attack joins a growing list of crypto hacks going on. Most recent cases include Jimbo's protocol, which 7.5 million were exploited, and a malicious proposal that took over Tornado's cash governance in May. And a chain and loss report estimates that crypto hackers stole $3.8 billion last year, most mostly through North Korean linked attacks exploiting decentralized financial protocols. Now, Cointelegraph did reach out to Atomic Wallet, but has not received an immediate response yet from them. So I'll keep you guys informed on what's going on. Uh, okay, I do want to get to the bottom of this because uh, some of the members of the Bitcoin Bank Crypto Club yeah, came in and was like, this happened to them and I felt so bad. So yeah, so I want to be on top of this. I want to see what happens, what's going on. But again, guys, if this did happen to you, check your Atomic Wallets out there. See if your funds are there. If they are, move it off to another wallet. You got Exodus. Get a treasure if you want to. Down the Divi mobile wallet. That's pretty secure on there, too. And you start a lot of cryptos. But get them off the Atomic now, because as of right now, it is not safe. So, guys, I hope you got something from this article. And if so, smash that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.